now as an artist, mm -hmm. and I'm we're gonna emerging artist. Emerging <laughs> artist. Yeah. We're gonna take a quick um, view of her home and her artwork. So we're gonna we're gonna start in the bathroom with a unique piece that Joe has discovered. But what gave you the? Was that the yeah, it is. Um, the idea for this came. My mother died, and she used to contribute to a lot of charities. And after she died, she was still flooded with uh, a lot of the mail. You know, they always wanted to contribute. Um, some of those are from Easter Seals, disabled American veterans, uh, the missionaries, and stuff like that. And uh, so as, as homage to her, I decided to just do this. People like it, people respond to it, so. Uh, People have stopped trying to peel the stamps off. <laughs> I know that's true. Yeah. That is a, it's a really nice piece. I mean, really innovative. Thank you. When I knew I was getting ready to get divorced, uh, and instead of crying about it, I think I had cried myself out, uh, I decided to pay it out. Very nice. I called this new beginning. And Very while I was doing this painting, my husband laughed. And, because um, he didn't think anybody would buy my art. Really? And I kept painting. And the next thing he knew, uh, my paintings were going out the door because people had started to buy them. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, right. that that was vindicate, vindicating. Mm -hmm. But um, this is this is when I really I think knew what type of painting that I was going to do. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't paint this dark anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm not in that place anymore. So, so what was going through your mind when you did this explosion earlier? I was I'm busting his balls. <laughs> <laughs> See, right here, it's all split up. Okay. Right there. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's wow. what that is. I got and you. that's me coming out. Okay. This was done in 1988. And uh, it's been good. And uh, what medium is this? This is oil. And this is all oil. For the and most part, all, all of your paintings are done in oil? Yeah, I like working in oil. Mm -hmm. um, Why so? Well, I think the colors are richer. Um, acrylic paints to me are kind of flat. Mm -hmm. so you'll notice on all of my paintings, I incorporate a little bit of gold in them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is New Beginnings. That, that was the, the beginning of the new me. This was pre-divorce, but when I say it, solid, it's good. Um, very simple, but I think it's kind of soothing too. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a balance um, with, you know, the check mark, because this is supposed to be a check mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I had sold this painting to my brother, okay. mm -hmm. and he hit a, a rough spot, so I brought it back. And wanted to go into a house that wouldn't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. This one is called Passages, and this is oil, sand, palm from church, and a vacuum cleaner filter. Um, and it's also the spray paint, the uh, spray paint that you would get, rust oleum. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. spray yes. paint. That's what this is. And these lines, um, they were a bubble, because I had sprayed so much paint on there. It's nice um, mm -hmm. And I popped it, and it, it, it just drained down. So I thought it would be different to hang it with the lines going that way, mm -hmm. instead of coming down. Sometimes when I start a painting, I, I really don't know what mood I'm in. Because mm -hmm. um, I might sketch something out, and eventually to just when you start zoning, you just go with it. Right. And so you're pretty intuitive with the whole, you just let the painting go where it I do, I let the painting pretty much create itself and when it's finished, it'll How about say. color wise? Well, this is my daughter, Nia. Nia, would you come here, please? Uh, she's my consultant. Gotcha. And she's working hey, today. This is Nia. Hey. This is my baby daughter. How you doing? Um, she right. consults with me on my on my paintings. So mm -hmm. when I get stuck, I call her in. And uh -huh. I prefer just color because mm -hmm. color makes you feel real good. Mm -hmm. She um, said, "Ooh," <laughs> and I was very pleased. Yeah. I mean, it, it made me happy that another artist liked mm -hmm. my work. Make it worth the money that I'm asking for. Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't just do this and that and say. Give me 
give me some money for it. Mm -hmm. And I, when I sell a piece, it's always framed. I don't sell my pieces unframed. When you when you started art, were you trying to achieve anything or what were I you getting out of it? I was just trying to get out what I had in. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot in. Um, so it was emotional? Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. and, and and it was good that I got into the art. But mm -hmm. the emotions that I had when I first started painting, I don't have them anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I try not to go to that place anymore. Because mm -hmm. it's too draining and it's not yeah. worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I try to do happy stuff and be happy. And who did you sell your first piece to? I sold my first piece to my brother. To your brother, okay. Yeah. And what was that? Piece? And I had other people that would come to the house and see my work and and I let people do layaway, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, Give me a deposit. Right. I, I, I do not give my art away. Of course not. Um, because if you pay for it, you'll value it more. Mm -hmm. you know. I love the colors. Wow. Thank you. I'm reminded I'm doing the camera. I'm all, <laughs> all <I'm> like. <laughs> the title of this is Soweto. And this is when South Africa was going through the changes and Mandela wow. was getting out of jail. Oh, and yeah. um, when the South Africans became oh, politically gosh. active. That is Beautiful. And the painting represents um, white oppression. Mm -hmm. And this is the bloodline. Mm -hmm. This is the wealth of the country. And these are the black people. Okay. But they're all surrounded by, they're caged in mm -hmm. by the white people. And this is when the first drop of blood was spilled, right here. Wow. And mm -hmm. as we know now, Soweto is free mm -hmm. and um, determining their own destinies. That's a powerful piece. Yes, Thank it's amazing. And the story behind it makes it even more moving. Thank mm -hmm. you. No, this painting, it just, it painted itself. Gotcha. It just pretty um, much did itself. My ball. Um, and that's, I think, how I was feeling when I did this piece. Because um, I think, I, I'm finding the older I get, that I know that I am odd. I don't really think In what like, way? Just your... I just don't think I think like everybody else. You think you're an artist, you know? Have y'all felt that way? Because <laughs> honestly, I mean... I felt that way all my life. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all oh, everybody else is. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're right. You know, like, what's wrong with them? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Six. I'm a restaurant. Um, the Black Eye. Black Eye. Yeah. And, um... She, if you notice, her lips are misshapen. You know, they're not defined. These are her lips. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, those are her lips. But they're not defined. Mm -hmm. um, because he has hit her, he struck her. Mm. And so therefore she has a black eye. That, this is the female. This is her hair. And that's the, the male. And I put the glasses on because I want him to wake up and see, mm -hmm. you know, what he has done. Um, and this is macrame. Uh, you know the macrame plant holders that people used to make and have the mm -hmm. plants hanging in? Exactly. That's what this is. Wow. And so that's my take on domestic pop. And what sparked? Huh? What sparked the concept for this piece? Well, I've, I've, been, a, I've been exposed to violence. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to say something about it without being preachy in my work because I have, I think a lot of my personality has been um, framed by my life and there to have anyone violent around me at this point. Don't need um, negative energy. No, I don't. Yeah. I, I, I do not do negative energy. Do is the storm. Beautiful. And that's like the stars oh. twinkling and the clouds and the colors and, you know. When I painted that, I was happy that my ex-husband was gone. Mm -hmm. That's like, I should call it the quiet after the storm. But the quiet storm. Mm -hmm. Oh, quick check. Not always the name. Yeah, you're right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so it's the, the, the quiet storm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, uh, that one, I was losing my house. Um, having to sell furniture because mm. I couldn't take all of the furniture with me to the apartment 
Um, but actually, the, the, the divorce was one of the best things that ever happened. Gotcha. New beginning. Yeah. yeah. That's downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was married, um, I've been married twice. I got married very early because I got pregnant very early. Mm -hmm. um, but I knew in the fourth grade that I wanted to paint. And actually, going through the, the divorce, I got married in 1982, and I got divorced in 1991. Um, but actually, that marriage is the thing that propelled me to paint. Mm -hmm. If it hadn't been for him, I don't think I would have mm -hmm. painted, because um, instead of drinking or turning to drugs, I just wanted to create something. So, so initially, um, in getting into art, you saw it as more like a therapy? I did. And I went back to school, and I went to PG College, and, uh, you know, I took a painting class. I've taken painting and drawing, and they want you to paint right. paint him or draw him right. or yeah, do fruit. And I'm yeah. like, I can't <laughs> do, do this. That. Yeah. It's little abstracts that I, this guy had asked me to do, and I went running in there. I was like, look, look what I did. Yeah. And my art instructor was like, nobody's doing that anymore. And he kind of dissed my work. Gosh, and I was like, okay, I'll see you later. Right, you right. know, Lowell Gilbertson, I'll never forget him. Mm -hmm. He didn't stop me. I kept painting. That's right. This is my self-portrait. Right here. Uh, my brother told me I was a ball buster. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, my tolerance for Lowell gotcha. is just gotcha. very low. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if people think that I'm too direct or, mm -hmm. you know, I think that I'm loving, I'm sweet and all of that, but a lot of times people try to play you when mm -hmm. you're that way, mm -hmm. just being me. Mm -hmm. And if someone sees me as a ball buster, then that's fine. I'd rather be a ball buster than a sucker. All right. So, <laughs> right. Um, right. I think that's I stretched it. this too tight. Oh, you stretched that yourself? Uh-huh, I stretch all my canvas. Um, what? <laughs> Jeez. Um, but I think I pulled it too tight because it's warped. So I've got to put a board yeah, or something that, on the back of downstairs. For people that don't know, stretching canvas is no fun. It's job. not. I hate it. Pain. I wish I could just. I've never done it. But you guys have. It's, it's, it's no fun. You don't like them pre-stressed at all? No, it's so expensive. Yeah. And last but not least, my piece I'm working on now. And this is the one that I'm going to call Knowing God. And I, I was drinking when I started on this one. This is the guy I used to date. He says, I love Sam, but I had to paint over it. Um, and that's good. I'm going to leave that there. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to make this a larger O and make this a capital D. But, um, and I have some children's handprints uh, that I'm going to incorporate in there. I've got a, this is sand right here. I like, for some reason, I like incorporating circles mm -hmm. in my paintings. It says, like it's complete. Mm -hmm. I'm working on this. And I, I know that when I come back in here and put color on this painting, that I'll be back to painting. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave it to you guys to call me, say, get That's off right. your butt you and go in there up. and yeah. paint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. And maybe a sale would be. Hey. <laughs> I don't think anybody can really train you to be an abstract artist. Because abstract art is so personal.